Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are doing well. In today's video, we're going to be looking at TikTok POVs. Those videos where people go, oh, point of view. You're watching an I'm Alex video and you're not actually subscribed yet. So you turn on notifications and make sure you watch every single one of his videos and leave a like. But they're not like that, are they? They're a lot more serious. If you're going through TikTok, if you've been scrolling through, you would have seen the occasional video of somebody who looks to be absolutely distraught coming up on your view page as they stare directly into the lens with a ring light shining through their eyes as they go, <laughs> POV, there's no more ice cream left at the McDonald's drive-thru. <laughs> Those videos. We've all seen them, and they're weird. And people seem to think that they're brilliant. So I wanted to watch a few, and try and figure out if I can make it in the TikTok acting world. Let's face it, I'm good at acting, aren't I? I managed to act like these videos are interesting, so. <laughs> now here's one I saw that made me feel genuinely ill when I read it. It gave me like a gut reaction. I saw it and I went <laughs> POV. At the homecoming party, I see the football captain. Oh, uh, he's carrying something, probably a soccer ball or an American football. Oh, why am I pandering to the Americans? I don't know, stop doing that. No, nope, he was um carrying one of the girls upstairs. How does this app go from dancing to this? <laughs> Now the issue is with this video is many things. I was gonna say that like there was only one issue. No, there's loads. There's loads of problems with this, isn't there? Let's face it. More than one. The first issue, why are you acting this out? You know, are you pretending to be in like 13 reasons why? We've already got 13 reasons why, and we don't even need that. Second of all, he's run away. Now is he running? to help save the person, making himself the hero in his TikTok POV that he's written himself, starred and made himself look like an action star? Or is he running away because he's just, he's like, no, can't be bothered to do this. I'm just gonna like it. Um, not here, not my problem. I don't know. Um, let's play it again, let's analyze it a bit more. Because by the looks of it, he follows the guy going that direction and he runs the opposite way, which means he's running away. Which is why I have a lot of problems with the comments on this TikTok. Respect to you, sir. Mad respect. He didn't actually save a girl, and we've already established he ran away. What do you mean, mad respect? Oh, as in like, oh, great acting. Oh, respect for the acting. You know what? You can act um, out a potential horrific scene. Well in. Maybe I am not getting in the world of TikTok. Maybe I'm not immersing myself enough, you know, I'm like somebody who goes to the cinema and then tries to hate the movie. I'm being a critic and not a fan. Um, hard to be a fan of this, so. Really hard to be a fan of this. We love a boy who doesn't let others take advantage of girls when they're drunk. It's not real. It's not real. Like, this thing right now is happening on my phone. Not real. It doesn't exist in Appen. I mean, it does happen, but not, not here. He's, he's made it up. He's acting on TikTok. Someone really said, plot twist, he's running up to join them. That's enough of this app. Plot twist, he actually left the faucet running. I love that. The idea that he sees this horrible thing happen and instead of actually going to help, he's gone, oh no, uh, left the tap on. Better get home quickly. POV, you're watching an I'm Alex video that just so happens to be sponsored. Yeah, you got me a brand deal, right? Yeah, it's gonna save my life. I'm really struggling for money at the moment. Do you reckon you can uh, get me a brand deal? Securing the bag for you, as always, yeah. Have you heard of Surfshark? Surfshark is a VPN which can protect you when you're online or, you know, if you're very clever, you can use it to access some stuff. Yeah, let me explain. We're all currently stuck in lockdown at the moment, and maybe that's till the end of time. And I'm sure if you are just like me, you've been watching so much Netflix that you've basically finished it. I've seen everything. But with the use of a VPN, I can see whatever I want now. 
Which if I want to log into the American Netflix to watch the American shows because they have such a better catalogue on the American Netflix, I could do so simply by opening Surfshark, looking through my VPN and finding America, logging into it and then opening Netflix. And the same goes if you're from other countries. If you've got Disney Plus and you're in America and you want to access the wide range of films that you can only get on the European servers, then you can log into a European country and watch everything on there. My favourite thing about Surfshark is the fact that you can log in on an unlimited amount of devices. So if you want to log in on a laptop, a phone, another laptop, another phone, you can do so. So if you want to support the channel, all you have to do is go to surfshark.deal slash imalex, get your two years and your three months extra free, all for $1.77 a month. It's a steal, mate. Come on. You know, you'll just kind of mug a meal if you don't do it. I'm not going to say Oscar worthy, but that performance deserved a lot of respect. POV, I need to leave my family to keep them safe. My son sees me before and I had to lie to him. Why are you leaving me? I'm going to miss you. Ha! <laughs> oh man. TikTok's incredible. It's so good, I love it man. Why do people do these fake crime videos? Because they're meant to be taken seriously but I just find them funny. Maybe I'm emotionally broken. Maybe I don't have any empathy for human beings. Maybe I'm sick. This the way he starts crying, <laughs> man. I've never seen somebody cry like this. <laughs> Ever. Nobody cries like that, do they? Do they? Do they cry like that? I don't know. I've never cried. I'm emotionless. Top comment is just... Damn. Like, whoa. Man, that really hit me hard. You know, this app's meant to be fun, right? Is that just me who like came on this app to enjoy myself? I, I came on here to see people do um, stupid jokes and and to kind of just mess around with sounds. Really? That was it. Um, instead, I get POV. My little son has a serious illness. He's been fighting for two years, but I know that he can't and he only has six months left. Wow. Why is it so dark? What? Ta terminal illness. Everything's gonna be fine. You just need to believe. Clap your hands if you believe. If I was your son and I had a terminal illness and you you were crying as I said, ah, oh, you reckon I'm gonna make it? Um, am I gonna am I gonna live, Dad? Am I? <laughs> Of course, of course you are. Oh shit. Oh. I mean, you could at least try to pretend, couldn't you? Like, why are people acting out that? You know, find something interesting. Like, oh, I went to the shops, and you know, and they ran out of Toblerones, and I was mildly upset. Not, oh, my kid's dying. Not that, man. Come on. I don't want that appearing on my few page. I want to have a laugh. And I can't laugh at that. I shouldn't laugh at that. The crazy thing about this, if you scroll through the comments, it's people just being like, I'm so sad, you made me cry. This broke my heart. This is so well acted. He's put water in his eyes. And clapped his hands. People say the Marvel films don't count as real movies. No. TikTok POVs. That's true art. And not only do they do crying TikToks, they also do these ones where they make it look like they've had the absolute life basically nearly beaten out of them. Um, I don't know, not just to portray themselves as like emotionally in touch with their feelings, but also to show that they're a big hard man when it's needed to be. And sometimes they mix both, like in this one. POV, I defended my mother from my abusive stepdad but accidentally killed him. Oh, cheery. Now the cop is arresting me and I can't stand seeing my mum cry. I'm currently stuck on a bit of a freeze frame. Um. <laughs> Let's see what this has got in store for us this time. I don't know, man. I feel like I've gone through a box set of Netflix dramas at this point. And just so you guys know, I can't use any of the audio in these to accurately give you the real emotion of where most of it's coming from because music is a powerful tool. Uh, so I've replaced it with something that I feel like is accurate with that one. I don't know. I feel like that song really fits the caption. My lucky, my lucky, my lucky, my lucky. I'm trying to make this video 
you know, I want to make it for you, and I want to show you how absurd these are in a funny way. You know, I want it to be a laugh. Right, I make these videos so I want people to watch them and go, haha, that was funny, and a bit absurd, a bit crazy, um, a bit cringy. Um, but then I come across POV, my teacher caught me texting. And you're going to think, it can't be worse than the terminal in this one. Surely, it can't be worse than that. He forced me to read it out in front of the entire class. Can't be worse than the terminal in this one. Can't be. No way. I was texting my little sister, who was um, taking her own life. How do I make a joke out of that? I don't. And I can't. He seems quite sad about it. Which, I mean, good on him. I'm waiting for him to do one where he just has a big smile on his face. You know? POV. I'm a sadistic freak. Now, for this TikTok, I really want you guys to kind of get in the zone for this. So, I'm going to give you a character role. I want you to try and really get into it if you can. Um, so, so, here we go. Um, you're my sister. Alright? Okay. And I tell you about a dream I had. Alright? Pretty simple, pretty easy. You're following along quite well at this point. Um, I was dead. I'm dead now. Here's one that's a little bit light-hearted, uh, coming off the back of all of those. I know I've kind of set the tone for the video um, to be pretty dark so far, and my apologies. I'm working really hard with what I've got here, and it's terrifying. Um, you fall in love with a psychopath, and you tell him that you want to be with him. Isn't this the plot of Joker, but the one with Jared Leto in it? It was bad enough in cinemas. Don't need it. Um, portrait on my mobile phone. Why is she doing it like this? Freak like me. Just, if you want to be the Joker, just do a Heath Ledger impression, alright? You're practically halfway there. Now we've done a bit of a light-hearted one, so let's move back into the deep end um, and see if I can make myself even more depressed than I already was before I started making this video today. I'm going to play this one this time, and then I'll read you the caption. You know, change it up a bit. Um, let's see if you can work out what's going on here. Now, if you were saying, oh, POV, you're in a very cold room and you're having a drink with your mates and that's why he's shivering. No, his lip's doing that because um, his mother died a year ago and his dad can't really live with it anymore, so he started drinking a lot. Look, I'm not going to knock him for doing this. Both of these guys, there's nothing wrong with this. They are completely free to act stuff out of their bedroom alone. It just worries me <laughs> why they've gravitated towards horrific themes. Every single one of these videos is based on something absolutely horrible. It's never POV, was having a nice day, came home, saw my dad, said hello to my dad, and he said, I'm proud of you, son. No, none of that. It's always, oh no, a terminal illness, a murder, or my dad's an alcoholic. I feel like I've watched enough of those where I feel like I can kind of compile something myself and give myself a shot at making my own little bit, my own little acting real. You know, maybe one day I'll get a Netflix deal or people will say that they're proud of me. So um, here's a little short film that I made earlier showcasing my amazing acting talents. POV, you open the fridge and you look, you search carefully, trying to find something that will refresh you on this warm day. You pull the chair away and as you sit down, you feel like the world is crushing you, destroying you, closing it around you. You tear at the beer can, hoping they will refresh you. Your luscious lips drink and sip of the beautiful nectar. You're shirtless now because it makes these videos a hundred times more popular on TikTok. You cry. This is your job. But suddenly, you realise something's not right. What could possibly be wrong? If I got to turn that off, we'd have had some serious problems.
Well, thanks for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you need. If you want to support me and my other short films and my POVs that I've been making, then don't forget to check out the sponsor of today's video, which is Surfshark, linked in the description below. That's it from me. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check everything out, and I will see you guys in the next one. POV, I'm ending the video, and you're really upset because you love my content. <laughs> Peace out, people. Have a good day.